Splits it up the middle now for Farley. A great play by the K-Wings captain there in traffic. Farley, right wing for Diamond Tony, chasing it down into the corner. Centers on goal and a save. Another save, Parsons. Rebound, a third try. Fourth try goes wide by Edmondson. Now a centering pass. They score! Austin Farley. Kalamazoo's on the board first. The scramble and the crease resulted in three saves from Parsons, but then once the puck went back into the corner, Kovacs threw it across, and Farley taps it into the net. He extends his point streak to six games. It's 1-0 Kalamazoo. Farley's fourth goal this season, six consecutive games with a point. And the impact he has made has been seen early and often by this Kalamazoo crowd. Farley has been awesome since coming back to North America. Played his college hockey in Minnesota Duluth. An Illinois native originally, but went overseas to start his pro career in Sweden. Two years in Allsvenskan in their second league. Two years in the top Swedish league before coming back and signing with Kalamazoo midway through January. Donald behind the net. Ross out front. Sandler fires and a save made by Parsons. Sandler right between the circles on that tic-tac-toe play, but Parsons got into position to make the stop. Here's Holtz on the left wing now, back into the Kalamazoo zone for Kansas City. Broken up on a physical play by Garrett Ross. Pushed back through center, it's Aaron Tho into the offensive zone. Tho wraps it in around the Mavericks net. On the right wing's McDonald. Scooped up, though, as it's Mitch Holtz working his way back to center, weaving across the Kalamazoo logo and now in on the right wing. Drops it off to Osborne. Toe drags, fires, glove save, Hildebrand. Rebound batted out of the air. They score. And it's Mitch Holtz who ties the game at one with 16-21 left in the second period. So it's a tie game after Osborne kind of fanned on the initial shot. He floated it on goal, and the changeup fooled Hildebrand. Hildebrand was able to make the glove save, but he couldn't corral it as it kind of fluttered on net and was knocked right back to Halts, and he batted it out of the air. And just like that, this game is tied up 1-1. Time of the goal is going to be 3:39 for Kansas City. And for Mitch Halts, that is his 10th goal of the season. Seven minutes left here in the second period, still 1-1. Pratt in his own zone, sails it high off the glass, held in by Wilson, half wall Lear, tried to throw it out front. That's picked off, though, by Halts. Mitch Halts stick handling, heckled by Van Voris. And the Mavericks defense now with possession. Pratt's challenged by Matt Van Voors. Good forecheck, he wins the battle. Now tries the center one, it caught a skate. Van Voors gets it back in the corner. Up top to Wilson. D to D for Edmondson, shoots, tipped, and they score! Justin Taylor! How about that forecheck from Van Voris? It's two to one. Kalamazoo's back in front. Taylor gets the goal, but Van Voris with the dirty work behind the net. And it goes D to D, Wilson to Edmondson. Taylor deflects it under the crossbar. And the K-Wings have a 2-1 lead. That's one of those plays that will not show up on the score sheet for Matt Van Voris because it'll be Taylor from Edmondson and Wilson. But Van Voris won the battle behind the net. And his teammates did the rest. Taylor with the redirect from low in the left circle, snuck it under the crossbar and in. And Justin Taylor has his 13th goal of the season and uh, was injured right before the All-Star game with a season ender. And unfortunately, Taylor missed the rest of last year. Here's a shot, save Hildebrand, rebound, jammed home, they score. And Rocco Carzo ties it up at two with 4.12 to play in the second period. We're just getting into Taylor and the type of year he's had this season for Kalamazoo where he had a month up in the AHL with Utica. Came back and he's had 27 points in 32 games. As we were trying to finish that sentence, Kansas City tied it up, shot from the slot. Carzo went five hole on Hildebrand, but stayed out for the moment. And when it sat in the crease, Carzo collected his own rebound and tapped it in. Gay Wings escape to center ice. It's Boston Lear. The Saskatoon native chips it down into the corner, and Van Voris chases after it. He's hammered into the back wall by Loren Ulette. Lear comes over to assist. Now Van Voris is tackled behind the net. Lear right circle. Toe drags. Backdoor shot. They score! Matt Van Voris. It's 3-2 with 14.55 to play. And Boston Lear with a terrific stick handling display in the circle. Created enough time to throw that pass right across the crease. Van Voris tapped it into the net. Third goal of his professional career for Matt Van Voris. Lear will get an assist. And Van Voris ends up getting rewarded for his previous play that led to the second goal scored by Justin Taylor, where he didn't wind up on the score sheet. This time he's front and center. 
Time to go will be 5.05 of the third period. K-Wings have their third lead of the game. 3-2 with 14.55 to play. 